recapping everything I wore while I was in Morocco. So, so excited to be sharing that with you. If you're new to my channel, it is your girl Jordan, oh little Miss JB style, your pair shape shorty style guru, lifestyle content creator, travel aficionado. I go by many hats. So I am very excited to share with you what I wore during my trip to Morocco. We had a very different trip, I would say, than what you probably see a lot of other people do. I had a large variety of not just going to see the city, but going to beach clubs, going out to dinner, going to actual clubs. So I wanted to give you an idea of all the different types of outfits you can wear because I think there are a couple misconceptions, I would say, probably about Morocco as a traveler to Morocco about what you can and can't wear. So wanted to kind of give you, again, an idea of what I wore, help debunk that for you. And of course, to give you some vacation outfit inspiration because there is never enough. There will always be more vacations and you are always gonna wanna know what to wear. As always, if there's a piece that you are loving, need to have it, I got you. There are links in the description below to everything. There are definitely some pieces that are older and sold out. I apologize, but I do my best to link to something similar in quality, style, and in price. So that is in the description below. With that, let's go ahead and just get right into it. The very first outfit, I got this question a lot, what to wear to the airport. I actually do have even more outfit ideas for you in my vacation outfit lookbook, but this is what I wore to the airport because it was a long day of flying. So I had an eight hour flight to Paris and then from Paris it was another three hours to Morocco, not including the layover. So I wanted to make sure that I was comfortable because your girl, look, I sweat. So you see that I wear a lot of like sleeveless tops, no different here. So I actually did have a black zip up from Urban Outfitters to layer up with as it gets cold on the plane, but I have a plain white tank top. This is from ASO, super easy, super breezy. And then these pants from Leslie the Label, when I tell you, these are so comfortable. And what I love about these pants is they actually look a little bit more dressier than just like your casual sweats. So that's why I felt like this was a really perfect option. I think if I would have done a different top, a different shoe, could have definitely looked like I was actually gonna like take on the work day instead of just like super casual and chill. But again, I was flying, I planned to be asleep, so I wanted to be as comfortable as possible, which is why I also went with the Steve Madden shoes. I love those shoes, they are so comfortable, so roomy, like my feet move around, I have space, so that was really, really important because as you fly, if you didn't know, sometimes like your body can swell up a little bit, so you just want stuff that's gonna be crazy comfortable. So that is what I wore on the airport, both there and back. Like I have no shame, I'm wearing the same airport outfit. Are you the same way? Super curious, let me know in the comments below. So once we got there, we actually got there kind of like later in the evening so we had a little like gathering party at the airbnb that we stayed at so the itinerary requested that we were in like summer sexy this is what i wore this crochet dress you already know you already know i'm having a moment with crochet and i feel like for vacation crochet is always a wave and because we weren't going to be out and about you know in morocco in the city i felt like i could be a little bit more risque with my choice i could do something a little see-through so this h&m crochet dress has been on repeat Cannot say enough good things. And then, you know I love a good monochrome outfit, so I have the white bag from Forever 21 that I literally grabbed at the last minute, and then my Senzo heels. These heels came in so clutch the whole trip. You're gonna see them all throughout this video. So comfortable for like a night out, dancing, twerking, shaking. You know how we do. So of course I need comfortable shoes because while I wanna be in heels and I wanna look cute, I do not like to sacrifice comfort. And that is true regardless of if I'm at home or on vacation. So the very first like actual day there, we already kind of had a full itinerary. We were up at like 6.30 a.m. If you haven't seen the travel vlog, go ahead and check it out. But this is the outfit I wore for the day and it is just a matching set from Banana Republic. Got it on sale because you know we love a good deal. And when I tell you this was perfect because you were the right amount of covered because we were going to be kind of outside and about. It was very breathable because it was made of linen and just the pattern was so fun. So I wore this while we did the hot air balloon ride and I wore this to ride the camels and I had those platform sandals from Altered State, which I love, love, love. I will say I probably would have gone with different shoes if I had different shoes, but because because the pants were a little longer, I needed some height, but again, I wasn't trying to wear heels. So this is what made the most sense to me and it works so perfectly. This is a great kind of excursion exploring outfit. Again, like I said, so breathable, so comfortable. Like you are always gonna look put together. Never, 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 as you know me. Don't sleep on a matching set, okay? Just don't do it. And then the second part of the day, we went to a beach club, so I decided I could be a little bit more risque after I like did some research, pulled, found out we were pulling like right up to the club, so I wasn't like, I actually wore this. I bought this cover up from a black owned brand I saw on Simi Moon. If you know her, you know. It was a whole vibe and I bought it literally like months ago, not knowing what I was gonna wear it to, and this was the perfect occasion. And then I paired it just with 
a swimsuit that I actually bought off of Shein. I was really surprised like how much that swimsuit banged because I do not buy from Shein on even a semi-regular basis. It's such a rare occasion that I will actually go to Shein, but this one time it uh it paid off. And then some simple sandals because I knew I was gonna like be taking my shoes on and off. Although the concrete did turn out to be like crazy, <laughs> crazy hot. So I'm glad I bought like some sandals that I didn't mind like getting wet and wearing around. So for the evening, we went out to dinner and then we were going to a rooftop lounge spot. So this is the dress that I wore. I always get so many compliments on this dress. You saw this if you watch my travel to Miami vlog. So easy, so breezy. It was plunge, but not too much plunge. And for the fact that we were going to dinner and then a club, I felt like this was really appropriate. I didn't get gawked at, didn't get any like crazy, you know, outrageous statements. And so it really just made a lot of sense. It was super comfortable. And we actually didn't even stay at the like club long because it just was, it was hot, okay? I think you underestimate heat in general, like a dry heat too. And then it was crazy how it was still the evening and even somehow on a rooftop, it was hot. It was crazy. So any kind of indoor space like that, it was overwhelming. But this dress got so many compliments and absolutely would recommend a good maxi dress is, I feel like a must as you go on vacation. It's a great outfit. You can always wear it to explore, but you can always wear it to dinner. So I like to have one that I feel like can go both ways. Like definitely this with some sandals would have also been a vibe to walk around as well. So the second day we had a day trip and it was to go hiking so nothing crazy i went with this matching set from revolve you can see a theme when i pack for a vacation i find it's really easy to one not only just pick things that easily mix and match but giving yourself a theme does help you kind of stay focused with what to buy and what to pack so you will see a lot of oranges and a lot of animal prints because that just made the most sense and i felt like those i could just easily kind of like throw on and go so this was absolutely perfect and I do have a swimsuit on underneath because we, th we thought we were gonna go swimming at the falls but it was um, hectic so we did not and then I just went with my um, Steve Madden sneakers which is why I also bought these sneakers because very comfortable easy to clean didn't mind getting them dirty because it was a very very like dusty hike so I wanted to make sure I had shoes that like made sense for the evening again it was dinner but we were going out to a club so I went with this orange dress from jlux yes it is old i am so sorry and when i tell you this dress is everything because this dress is actually a midi dress but because it's so sheer what i actually did was i tucked the bottom up to make it into a mini dress and that actually helped it to stay in place gave me a little extra coverage so you could not see my underwear because otherwise girl you were gonna see some booty cheeks and then i just paired it with the white accessories the same forever 21 bag and the senzo heels like that's literally the same bag and heels i wore almost every night Again, super clutch. And this was super breathable and I felt like it was definitely very appropriate for going out to eat and then going to the club. I was still very much covered more or less, just some leg action. So a good night out dress like this, a bodycon dress like this is always a go-to. I always just stress because again, I like function and I like to, I mean, I like to drop it low. Okay, so make sure that you're picking a dress when you pack that actually is comfortable, that will actually work and you'll be able to wear it because there's nothing worse than like the whole night you're like, uh, uh. Ugh, trying to trying to pull it down and you're not comfortable like I don't like to not be comfortable so my stuff absolutely is comfortable <laughs> so day three was definitely a more chill day we had a couple of small activities planned we actually went wakeboarding so I decided just something very simple very casual so this is what I went with we've seen the Zara sheer button up it's a moment and if you're going to Morocco I feel like a sheer button up like this or even a scarf is kind of like a necessity because you want to have something you can easily drape on and be covered you know what I mean but because it was sheer and because it's hot this also allows it to be breathable. Then I had my swimsuit on underneath the white linen shorts from H&M. Always always clutch I feel like that's always another like summer vacation essentials like a good pair of linen shorts they don't have to be white but I feel like don't we all look a little bit richer and a little more like we got our lives together rich auntie vibes and white shorts i think so so that worked because again we were basically in our swimsuits like the whole time so that made it super super easy and then for the evening again another dinner and club situation i went with ba bam this nasty gal dress which i get so many questions about it is not the rat and boa dress i know so many people think it is and unfortunately it's it's old like i've had this nasty gal dress for a couple of years now. like it always it always goes it always gets the compliments and what I love is like even as my body has um gained and lost weight this somehow always slaps like I somehow always just look like I'm serving body in this so that's another reason I love this dress I did also pack a hair tie I do this this is like my little sneaky trick 
when I have like a longer maxi dress that I'm not quite sure like I want to drag I always pack like an extra hair tie or something so I can just like quickly bunch it up and make it a little bit shorter maybe make it like a midi style which is what I did to like take it to the club because I didn't want to worry about somebody stepping on it and then if I had to use the bathroom it being on the ground so that's another sneaky trick like always have like a hair tie in your bag or something like just just in case you need to snatch something up make it make it do some shake make it do some work for you that is definitely that is definitely something i absolutely swear by the next day we finally actually made it like into morocco to explore so we did the garden majorelle we did the souks and so i wanted to make sure that i was very appropriate because i knew we we're going to be around a lot of people so i actually went with this matching set you have seen if you follow me on tiktok i had a little bit of beef trying to get the right sizing with this but we have this um, Sydney Molly King collab matching set. I loved the color. I knew it was gonna be fun with the garden, but I also was hoping while we were at the souks to like have this be kind of the pop of color. Like, cause I was imagining, you know, the, the red carpets and that kind of stuff. So I thought it'd be like a cool contrast. I unfortunately did not get the photo I envisioned in my mind, but that's okay because the outfit served. Just super easy to walk around and stuff like that. Again, I feel like when it comes to vacations, I don't stress about bringing like tons of shoe options and tons of bag options. It's kind of like I'm going to pick two or three and just make that work for me the whole time. So then we had dinner again this night, but just dinner. So the outfit that I went with, this one, this is actually a matching set from Forever 21. I feel like that's another place. While I do not shop there often, on occasion they be having some gems i will say i feel like the sizing in this i probably should have sized up in a large for the bottoms because it definitely was a uh, hiking up to try and show the coochie and i wasn't trying to show nobody you know little jay um but other than that i felt like this was like perfect it was super comfortable super breezy i looked like a baddie you know for the dinner so i definitely feel like again as you've seen a couple matching sets matching sets are always a great option even for, like not just for the day before the evening as well and this if i wanted to i could have like thrown on that sheer zara like top and made this also work for like the daytime if i really wanted to so the very last day was again very very chill we did a beach club and we decided to go with the lavender theme swimsuit for the birthday girl she really wanted to have that kind of photo so this is what i wore i actually ended up pairing that jlex dress over this swimsuit which is from lulu's i made mistakes with the swimsuit i won't lie it's not my favorite swimsuit um but i needed lavender and it got the job done but again super breezy super easy when you're doing the beach clubs in morocco you are going to basically be pulling up right to the beach club so you don't really have to worry about like being too overly exposed because you're literally just gonna be able to walk right in and you're not gonna be surrounded by a bunch of locals and things like that we might get hooted and hollered at like at the souks we definitely got hollered at we definitely got like i yo baby girl with the big booty you know so the beach clubs definitely it wasn't that way at all like you definitely got to just kind of drive up you could be in your little risque outfit if you wanted to and you really didn't get bothered so that was kind of nice for the very last night again just dinner and then we decided to hang out back at the airbnb so i went with this very breezy dress this you have seen it is from asos super sheer linen again that was like very much the theme it is hot there not just in the day but at night until like way later in the night so i knew i needed something like super breezy super breathable and so i went with this dress and again the same white accessories because if it ain't broke don't gotta fix it okay and then in terms of like bras for a top like that i actually did have kind of like the sticky boob things from target but actually one of the girls from the trip put us on to like the world's best boob tape so i'm gonna make sure i link that below because i'm still a little new to the boob tape but it was giving it was giving so i wanted to share that with you as well and the last day literally was like i was up at 3 a.m to catch the flight and i was back in the outfit you saw at the beginning so very comfortable because it was going to be a long day so i wanted to just make sure i was super super comfortable so that is it that is everything i wore during my trip to morocco to give you some outfit ideas for like crazy hot 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 dry heat weather but also again to give you an idea because Morocco is a little more of a conservative country, what you can and kind of can't wear and what you just should like kind of know before you go in terms of dressing. And then of course, hopefully you took some notes on the tips and tricks that I was offering you for how I like to pack, how I make packing easy and how I make sure I have amazing outfits during the vacation and that everything just coordinates. If you want a more in-depth video on like packing, I low key did kind of like film me packing for Morocco, but wasn't sure if I wanted to share it. So if you want like tips on how I physically pack, cause I got all of that into two carry-on bags, one suitcase, and one like giant oversized tote. Let me know, I will make that video for you, share like my tips on physically packing, not just like, and so you get not just tips on how to coordinate your outfit for vacation, but how to actually pack as well. Let me know, put it in the comments, I'll get, I got you. 
With that, thank you so, so much for watching all the way through. I absolutely hope that you found this useful. You know that I am here to help you. I wanna make this part of your life easier. So hopefully I'm giving you inspiration. I'm giving you tips. I'm empowering you to find the pieces that work for you, to wear the pieces that make you feel amazing. So you know you have that unlock and you can manifest and get the other things that you are working towards. Cause I know, I know girl, you are working and you deserve it. So when you deserve to look good, and that's what I hope to help you with here. And if that's what you're looking for, make sure you take a quick second and hit the follow button because that's what I share in a lot of my videos, not just the inspiration, but the tips and some of the thinking behind the outfits to help you feel empowered and put together that wardrobe so that you feel absolutely amazing. Thank you again for watching all the way through and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.